Good afternoon, friends. It's uh, it's now uh, about three minutes after three uh, on the Feast of Divine Mercy. We are now officially uh, celebrating what John Paul II uh, instituted uh, during the very last couple of years of his pontificate. He uh, he was a great man. He's going to be go probably commemorated as John Paul the Great someday. Uh, I know a lot of a lot of you are very fond of him. Uh, in fact, uh, he he touched so many hearts when he came to Ireland in 1979 that uh, that uh, that cross in the Phoenix Park is is uh, it's my destination most mornings when I run. Now I I get up try to get up early as as early as I can. Right? You know maybe a little before six, and I try to run between six and seven and. Uh, my destination uh, from where my flat is, is that uh, is that cross, and from my house to that cross is about it's about five k, so it turns out to be about a ten k run. And, and when I need to go further, I go all the way to the uh, to the uh, Castle Knock Gate, and uh, and that makes it about a, a, a nine mile run. But um, anyway, it's just a beautiful. Uh, it's been a beautiful. Uh, few weeks uh, that we've been in uh, lockdown I I can't help but uh, but but thank God for for all the blessings that he's bestowed upon me uh, during these past three and a half weeks and I, I sincerely hope that it's been the same for you and your families I hope that that even though you haven't been able to gather in in, in, a, in a more s festive environment and also go to you know, go to friends' houses and uh, go to, of course, go to church and, and even assemble for, for Sunday Mass and for Degley Mass. Um, <clears throat> the Lord is still very much with us in this in this difficult time. And uh, uh, you can live stream Masses uh, on the web. I'm sure you do. And I'm glad that some of you have found this, uh, this uh, YouTube channel that I just launched a few days ago. And uh, so now uh, this is... Uh, the Feast of Divine Mercy. We will say the chaplet. I'd like to do a reading from uh, from this book, which is says, "Jesus, will you, will you help me?" Uh, see, if, see if I can get it there. Yeah, it says, "Well, it's it's, it's upside down for you," um, but uh, you know, maybe uh, turn it around. If I could turn it around, it would see. You'd see. It says, "Jesus, will you help me?" and uh, and so I'm, I'm going to read the prayer to be merciful to others. Because to me, that that's what the devotion is all about. It's about sharing God's mercy with others. We receive the mercy of God. There are the three, the three, ra the three degrees, the three things that are necessary in this devotion is A, the ABCs are ask, ask for God's mercy, plead for it. B, be merciful to others. C, complete trust in the mercy of God. So um, you can see I have the picture of divine mercy over my shoulder there. And I have the Immaculate Heart of Mary on one side. And a beautiful mystic painted the picture of Jesus that's on my left, on my left shoulder. Sorry if that this camera's not too well set up yet, but... Oh 
expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and an ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out a part us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Prayer to be merciful. Help me, Jesus, that what I ask of you, mercy, I will give to others in both word and deed. Help me, O Lord, that my eyes may be merciful, so that I may never suspect or judge others, but always look for what is beautiful and good in other people. Help me, O Lord, that my ears may be merciful, so that I may give heed to others' needs and not be indifferent to their pain. Help me, O Lord, that my tongue may be merciful, so that I should never speak wrongly of others, but have a word of comfort and forgiveness for all. Help me, O Lord, that my hands may be merciful and fill with good deeds, so that I may do always may I do only good to others and always t- try to take upon myself the more difficult tasks. Help me, O Lord, that my feet may be merciful, that I may hurry to assist others, overcoming my own fatigue and weariness, contemplating your love and mercy. Help me, Lord, to forgive and forget. This is your greatest gift to me and should be mine for your sake to all who offend me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge both the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, the blood, the soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, the blood, the soul, and the divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, 
I offer you the body and blood, the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the Of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. We must remember in prayer this weekend uh, uh, all our friends and family, uh, those who may be suffering from the coronavirus, for all, the, for all people of goodwill around the world, and for the conversion of sinners, because that most of all is, is what St. Faustina was called to pray for, for this conversion of sinners and for the holy souls in purgatory. We must remember them as well. And we remember Don Devaney, the uh, man who has been organizing the Divine Mercy Conference for the past 20-odd years. He, uh, he is apparently back in the hospital and uh, has contracted the COVID virus for a second time, or at least uh, in a more severe way than, uh, than perhaps we knew before. So he and his wife and one of his daughters are all being treated for COVID. So may God give them the, the grace and the courage to keep fighting and and give them a, a, a complete recovery from, from this problem, from this serious pandemic. May God bless you and uh, keep me in your prayers and know that I'll continue to be to making videos uh, long while this pandemic is on and probably well into the future. So please check out he, these videos and, and give me your feedback because I'd like to please God first and all of you second. Thank you very much. God bless you. Happy Divine Mercy Sunday.